What up? Okay, so, mono signals. For those of you that don't know, a mono signal is essentially just a recorded sound that's been recorded in a single mic. If you record in more than one mic, it's a stereo signal. Now, there may be instances, at least from a mixing perspective, so you could be mixing a record and you've received some, some stems from you know, another artist, producer, whoever it may be, and they have sent you stereo drum sounds or a stereo vocal. Now, drum sounds and vocals tend to be recorded in a mono manner, so using a single mic. Um, so you don't need a stereo signal. There's a lot of crap in there that's not necessary. You might have some low hum or rumble, whatever it may be. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you how you can take a stereo signal and split it into mono and then disregard the stereo if you like and you know do whatever you want with it. So for you Pro Tools users out there, I'm gonna quickly flick over to Pro Tools because Pro Tools has this feature and it's really, really easy to use. You import a sound, a file, WAV file, MP3, whatever it may be. You right click the track, you hit split to mono and straight away it creates two separate tracks you've got the, the left and the right you could decide to you know drag maybe just the right one over onto its own insert delete the other one the left and so on in FL Studio it's not that simple but there's a way to do it I have loaded in this piano sound you can hear clearly it's the stereo signal I'm gonna turn that off if you right click in the channel settings hit edit this will take you to Edison then from here you want to, and again I'll just play back the sound. If you go ahead and click this little spanner icon, there is a few channel options down here. So the one we're interested in, in the first instance is convert left channel to mono. So playing that back again. Convert to mono. So now we've just got the left channel. You can then drag that out hit Control Z on your keyboard to undo that. So we're back to the stereo signal. Repeat the step, but do the right channel this time. Same process. And then you can rename them as you like. So this was the left, the right. And if we play them back, They've lost a little bit of their volume, so you could normalize it if you prefer. And there you are. You've gone from a stereo track to two separate mono tracks. You can just use one of them, delete the other, the other side if you don't need it. And you can work with the source material. It makes mixing so much easier, especially if it doesn't need to be a stereo track. There tends to be a lot of instruments that, you know, are all fighting for a space in the stereo spectrum and you don't need uh, unnecessary frequencies in that space so they don't need to be there so anyway yep yeah, um, i hope that helped as usual please like comment and subscribe please check out my channel for other videos in the series and also videos covering different topics as well as just tips in fl studio until next time